Hi students, this is Jason sir, welcoming you back to my physics classes and you are watching me on my YouTube channel LexNova. I hope you enjoyed last class, prepared notes and studied them thoroughly well. And today we are discussing on the similar lines. We imagine an aluminium ball. If I hang an aluminium ball like this, will there be electric field created around? Never. An electric field is created only if there is accumulation of electric charge. So what I am doing is I am giving this a charge. Say for example, I am giving it a minus 10 micro coulomb charge. Now my question is how can I give minus 10 micro coulomb charge to that? See if you rub uh, with some polyester cloth, if you rub an aluminium ball on your shirt, you cannot give such large charge. On rubbing and all, you can produce charges only in pico coulombs. This is in micro coulombs. It also is a larger amount of charge. For charging an object to these charges, we need certain special devices, which we will be studying in the next chapter. So we will be discussing such things later. But somehow, for for the time being, you just imagine that you are giving a charge of minus 10 micro coulombs to that. Means you are giving a lot of electrons to this. So the electrons will be residing only on the surface. Okay. Even if few electrons go inside the body of the ball, those electrons due to mutual repression will come out into the surface. And you understand whenever you give charges to a conductor, it will reside as far apart as possible. So no charge reside inside this copper ball. Now the story will be different if it is a non-conducting uh, material, but on a conductor that is the idea. Now what happens if I wait for some time? Now if I wait for some time, these charges, these electrons will be leaking into atmosphere. What happens if I touch this ball? You will be curious to know what happens if you touch this ball. Will it hurt you? And is it safe to stand somewhere near here like that? See, it's absolutely safe. I am standing at a distance like this. This charge is not that a big charge in that sense. And plus, if you touch this ball, what happens is the ball, the charge will be electrons, these electrons will be flowing through your hand and going to the earth. We say the charge is earthed or it is leaked to the earth. But the situation is rather different. Just imagine you are, I said now there is a device for charging. You continuously charge this, this uh, aluminium ball and I am continuously touching it. Then it is difficult. Now, if you are standing on earth and continuously touching it, it is difficult for you or it can even be lethal for you, it can be deadly for you. So what you can do is if you can, if you want to touch this copper wall with continuous supply of charge, you must be standing on a, an insulated platform. I can show you one video where a child is touching a, an aluminium ball with continuous charge supply. You see that video. They produce static electricity. They do a little bit something unusual to your appearance when you try them out. If you could actually pull the top off of the Van de Graaff and look inside, what you would see is a roller at the top, one at the bottom, and a belt that sits on those two rollers. When we turn the motor on, that belt starts to spin really fast, and as it spins, there's a little metal cone that strips away electrons. So the Van de Graaff builds up a very strong positive charge. When we have a volunteer stand on our insulator, they put their hand on the Van de Graaff, it steals some of their electrons and makes them a very positive person. All of those positive charges build up in their hair and they start to repel, similar to magnets. It was very shocking and weird. I've never felt anything like it before. I hope you and enjoyed that video. A child with long hair is touching this ball. So these electrons will go to his or her body and distribute all over her body. 
so it will be distributed to each and every hair of this girl it is there you can see the effect correct no each hair will repel the other hair because they have they are carrying the same electric charge on them so their electric the hairs are as wide apart as possible i hope you enjoyed that suppose we have a Uh, repeating the same kind of experiment in our class then who will be doing this demo for us a girl you know boys are also okay boys usually don't have long hair but the girls are good for this demo so who will uh, among the girls of our class who will be doing this demo for us so i was thinking of devika uh, when i was uh, cutting this video for you so if uh, devika is stretching this this is how deviga will stand like okay, i am drawing deviga this is how her hair will stand up this is charged deviga correct you no know? this is charged deviga and let her hand touch this so she must be standing on a insulated platform otherwise she will be shocked and i hope you can enjoy this idea also you have seen in cartoons where people get shocked their hair will be drawn criss cross this way that way because the hair is the place you can feel or you can see the electric field for the outward expressions and when deviga is standing here she has charge all over her body and she produces her electric field remember deviga cannot produce electric field but charged deviga can produce electric field okay and you remember this fact also when she is touching this ball charge flows here electrons are flowing in this direction and it uh, fills her whole body so this is actually she is getting charged by a process of conduction this is charging by conduction so you may copy this entire figure in your notebook write charged deviga and in the bracket you may write charging by conduction so i hope uh, you enjoyed that situation with electric field you know we are studying electric field and we must internalize the idea of electric field within us so we go for in this example we again have a ball okay again the same ball as earlier it is given a charge of 10 micro coulomb remember you need some devices for that you cannot just like that you cannot give charge to that and you are bringing another ball near here like this it's an identical ball for getting involvement in the class i request you to copy this also into your notebook and you also draw along with me so that will give you better involvement in the class correct or no and when you have this is a charged ball it is charge is spread all over its surface okay and this charged ball produces electric field in its neighborhood and the second ball that i am keeping is definitely in its electric field only so what happens is just as the example we have seen in the last class just as the charged scale attracts paper pieces this ball will attract this ball correct no and so what will happen you can guess what happens this ball goes and hits this ball so the situation will be something like this this is the collision the size is not matching i am very sorry about that don't worry see then what happens it has 10 micro coulomb charge on that now that charge will be redistributed because it is in it is in contact with another conducting ball so naturally what happens is this will get minus 5 micro coulomb this will get minus 5 micro coulomb correct the charge will be redistributed 
again it means it comes to surface like this why the charge is distributed equally on both the balls if the size of the ball were different will the distribution be the same again the answer is no when the total surface area of this ball and this ball are the same so it is distributed equally if this ball look at the figure eh? if this ball is a, was a larger ball it might have got more charge if it was a smaller ball it will get only smaller charge so distribution actually depends on how much area is available correct no and the final situation what will happen at the end at the end what we will say is it has minus charge this also has minus charge so the final situation will be this moves to this side this moves to this side so i must be drawing it this way not here so this is minus 5 micro coulomb this also minus 5 micro coulomb so i hope uh, you enjoyed that example now what you have seen is an electric field attracting another object and once they come in contact they will repel apart now i suggest you to do the scale and paper bits experiment in your house when you are doing that experiment you will observe a very interesting fact some of the paper pieces on jumping to the scale jumps back immediately why that happens the paper pieces on jumping to the scale will share some charge from the scale so they are have the similar charges and they repel apart just as it happened here so just do that and enjoy it so here we are seeing electric field in action again now we go to the next so in this example also we have a copper ball this time i am drawing it as a small ball okay and another copper ball also say they are of the same size you imagine we keep the same size to make the charge distribution uniform that's all i made the size the same okay why i am so particular about the size then only the distribution of charge will be equal and just imagine this has a charge of minus 10 micro coulomb as we said earlier uh, so that is distributed all over the surface uniformly distributed so when you are copying this see to it that it, the negatives are placed uh, almost uniformly on the surface okay so that is important for us and just imagine this ball has a i am giving a charge of plus 2 micro coulomb to that plus 2 micro coulomb positively charged i said i am giving positive charge to that but actually what i did using that device is i picked electrons from that remember that huh? now tell me what happens copy this into your notebook and think what happens this is a negatively charged ball this is a positively charged ball the second ball this ball is in the electric field of this ball or this ball is in the electric field of this ball you can say like that they have a electric field around it it is just like a, a north pole and a south pole both the poles are there one is in the magnetic field of the other we say there here we say one is in the electric field of the other doesn't matter much but the situation is almost parallel so what happens another effect of electric field you are seeing this ball will be attracted by this ball okay they hit and what happens on hitting the situation is like this on hitting here you have deficiency of electrons here you have excess electrons naturally these electrons will come and occupy these deficiencies okay 
we say positive and negative cancel each other and how much charge will be remaining them minus 8 micro coulomb will be remaining how i am getting that minus 8 of this minus 10 plus 2 added there so minus 8 is remaining so that minus 8 will be divided into both the balls so this will get minus 4 micro coulomb this also will get minus 4 micro coulomb so they are equal apart so what you will see at the end is like this so erase this this is what happens this will have minus 4 micro coulomb this also have a minus 4 micro coulomb there is the repulsion so they repel and stand like that as a uh, in the equilibrium you will see them staring standing apart like that i hope you understood how charges are adding up and now we go to the next example